Hello everyone. So today we are going to work on how to bind this overhead uh, health bar widget to the actual health values of the character. Now here as you can see I damage as I damage the character you can see the health bar is uh, responding to the health change. So yeah that's the part we are going to work on today. So before we get started let me quickly remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects I have done in my channel from my Patreon page. Once you become a member, you can access everything without any limits. And also here is the full playlist of this project. Everything is implemented from scratch and explained. Feel free to follow these episodes and you can implement everything you see here by yourself too. I'll leave links to everything in description below. Right, now let's get started with today's episode. Right, so this is what we implemented yesterday. Now here you can see on the head of these characters, this overhead health bars and the level, but as those health bars are not actually responding to the actual health level, of these characters so that's what we need to work on now okay so for that let's go to our blueprints here pp ui and markers now i'm gonna make some changes here because here in the hard markers i want to be able to pass this marker message data into the widget itself so therefore let's create a new user widget i'll call it wbp base marker and i don't need anything here only a variable marker data and I'll use the type as marker message. I'll make it instance editable and expose on spawn. Compile. Now close it. We don't need to do anything there. And I'll go to this overhead health bar and the graph and class settings. I choose base marker as the parent. So we will automatically have access to marker data like that. And when I create the marker data, I'm gonna change this structure also. Here, this is a user widget. So I'll change this to base marker class. Okay, now the default value is but like this right now here let me delete that well actually let's see can i refresh this yeah now we have this marker data i can connect it like this Now we have here S marker data, now get marker data, and we can access the instigator. From this, we should be able to access actual health data. So, to do that, let's see, let me open the base character here this update health function this is called every time the this health attribute is updated now here i'll add an event dispatcher on health updated so in unreal 5.7 there is a way to listen to changes in uh, attributes but since we are still in 5.5, we don't have access to that. 
So we're gonna have to create a callback or dispatcher. Now I'll call it here. Uh, we need to add an input as well. The type float. Uh, let's call it health. Well, actually, current health. And another one. Right now, I'll call it call one health update. Current health is this max health. We can access max health. Oh, we already do it here. So, yeah, like this. Get base actor attributes and max health split max health current value okay now we have the event dispatcher now let's go into our overhead health bar uh, let's add on initialize now from here we can cast this to third person character base then on health bind event to on health updated here let's create an event and I'll create a matching event. Yeah, date okay. Now, all we need to do is press bar. Let's rename this. I'll call it progress health and here we can get set percent and we can calculate the percentage value by dividing current health from max health like this okay let's try it out now doesn't seem to work oh why not uh, i think this on initialize is not firing when we add it as a child so let's construct Oh yeah, it's working, it's working. See? It's reduced here, but it's the health bar is not very clear. See? Okay, this background is also white, so therefore we don't see a clear distinction. It's better. Oh, why is this bigger? yeah yeah this is good but we need to fix it okay now i made the outline of the background white and the background is black and this middle part is also white so this should be make things clear enough 
Oh, it's clear, but we should have full health at the beginning. And uh, actually, we should do that from within the blueprint because when we add the hard element to the UI, maybe there could be half health already on the character for some reason. So therefore, yeah. In addition to this, we can so get ability system component get actor. Wait, didn't we already have a function for the get base actor attributes? Yeah. <clears throat> we shouldn't need this. Get base actor attributes, yeah. Get health. Get max health. Wait. And now we can call this event update health. the current health and current max health like this now even though i have half here it should be automatically filled to match the current health level see it's working now now let's attack them start seeing damage Okay, so it's working. Alright, so that's all I want to do in this episode. So, thanks for watching. As always, updated project files will be available for download here in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments. See you in another episode. Goodbye.